I think everybody's important in your program. Uh, you know, uh, utilize not only the wrestlers, but you know, their parents, uh, the support people, athletic director, uh, to the person that sells concessions. You know, utilize everybody. I've, I've written down what I think are 10 keys to, six, to uh, success. One is communication, very important. And no matter how well you think you're communicating, there's gonna be somebody out there that, that didn't get the message. So communication, I think is huge. Organization is very important. Uh, make sure you're organized, know where you're headed. Talk with your coaching staff, uh, set goals. Every year you got a different set of goals because you have different wrestlers, you have a different team. So set the goals that are gonna meet the needs for that season. Uh, create challenges. I think if, if you're not challenged, uh, you're never going to get the best out of your out of your wrestlers. Uh, you know, you might have a team that's very strong one year and things are coasting along and, you know, you're winning meets and then you hit the state turn the tougher teams and, uh, you know, if you aren't working as hard, you, you're probably going to get beat. So you got to create some kind of challenge for them. That might be just making a tougher schedule so you challenge them, but always have challenges uh, to, to keep motivation. Uh, enthusiasm. Make sure uh, you're enthusiastic. If you're not enthused about the program, how are your kids ever going to be or how the parents going to be? But enthusiasm, teamwork, it's very important. I, I think wrestling, you know, it, it's, it's an individual sport, but I say it's, it's individually the most uh, team sport it can be because every wrestler, you take uh, 14 wrestlers in the lineup, every one contributes the same amount of importance. And it might be a guy that can get a pin to help win a meet, or it might be a guy that doesn't get pinned. So they're all equally important, Every all 14 of them. So it's gotta be teamwork, you gotta work together. Organization, I've, I've mentioned that before. Always be organized, always know where you're headed. Be a role model. I think it's very important as coaches, we wanna be role models to our athletes. Uh, they're gonna look up to you, and if you're not a good role model, that's not gonna send a good message to them. Parents aren't gonna be happy, and that kid's not gonna be successful in the long run. So be a good role model, be a servant leader. You can be a leader without having to be the boss. Uh, I try to empower my staff. Each, each member of my staff has a specific uh, contribution to our program. And uh, for instance, when we're showing the technique, I might have uh, each coach has a certain aspect of technique that they show. The, co the, the wrestlers relate to them with that. And the, that coach feels important. They feel good about their contribution. It's not just the head coach out there and the assistants blowing a whistle. Uh, I want to involve them, I want to empower them. Commitment, you've got to be committed. Uh, if you're not committed and you don't sh demonstrate commitment, how are your re athletes going to be committed to, to you and your program? Obviously as a coach you got to be committed and in fact a lot of times you're over committed I think, but, uh, but that's very important. Education, uh, again educate yourself, you know, for instance nutrition and weight control is huge in the sport of wrestling. I, I took classes, you know, nutrition classes, just to learn as much as I could about that. I, I always had a uh, dietitian come in and talk to our team about uh, nutrition and weight control at the beginning of the season. You could have a, a, a dietitian, you could have a doctor, have somebody that's maybe outside your wrestling program that parents would recognize as an authority, have them come in and, and talk about that and share share their thoughts on, on what you're gonna do as far as weight class this year and that kind of thing. Humor, I think you gotta be able to laugh. And, and you know, some of your wrestlers, I've just found over the years, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what, what silly things they might do. Uh, so keep it fun, keep it fun.